Former White House Press Secretary and Fox News contributor Sarah Sanders joins me now. She is the author of the new book, Speaking for Myself, Faith, Freedom, and the Fight of Our Lives Inside the Trump White House. Sarah, always great to talk with you. Uh, you and I were together. Now it's day two since this Bob Woodward <laughs> information has come out and a lot of questions about how things might have been done differently. I first want to ask you, What's your take on what the chief of staff, Mark Meadows, is saying now that he would have suggested to the president he not do this? I mean, after all, Bob Woodward had already written some stuff that was not positive about the president. Uh, look, I don't think the chief of staff is necessarily wrong, but honestly, Harris, I don't care what Bob Woodward has to say. To me, he's just another liberal media mogul out there trying to take the president down. I think every time he writes a book, he writes it for one purpose. He wants to sell books, so he's looking for the most negative light he can to portray this president. And frankly, I don't have to read his book because I spent two and a half years serving alongside the president. I know who he is. I know that he he loves this country, and I know that he is constantly fighting for the country and the people to defeat the liberal mob that is out to destroy us. It's the reason, frankly, that I wanted to write the book that I did, Speaking for Myself, because I want people to know the real story and see the real truth behind who Donald Trump is and how much he loves this country and all of the things that he's doing to help keep our country great and move us forward. Yeah, and, and not to miss it, Sarah, your book is hitting at a critical time as well, and you're able to put that message out there, too, and we're going to pop it up on the screen as we go to this. Carl Bernstein, who broke the Watergate scandal with Bob Woodward, says Trump committed a kind of homicidal negligence by downplaying the pandemic, and he claims the audio recordings are even more devastating than the Nixon tapes. But he didn't stop there. Watch. We listen to him cover up this grave national emergency. This is one of the great presidential felonies of all time, maybe the greatest presidential felony. And we have the smoking gun tape of the president committing the felony. Sarah, I can almost see you still standing behind that lectern. And what would you say at a White House press briefing to that? Well, I think his comments are ridiculous. The president didn't want people to panic. He didn't want our economy to collapse. If anybody is guilty of not paying attention to the pandemic, it's Democrats who were so focused on impeachment and attacking the president while he was actually taking action, like stopping travel from China and mobilizing uh, our communities to provide resources and PPE gear and ventilators and other things that hospitals and our first responders needed. The president took action while Democrats were busy trying to destroy him. I think if Bernstein wants to take some comments uh, on who was negligent, I think he has another group of people he should focus his fire on. You know what is so fascinating, and I, I wonder if our viewers actually caught that. Um, you didn't go for the person who was not in office, Joe Biden, with your comments just right then. You talked specifically about people who were focused on impeachment, who had the responsibility and the jobs to have maybe done something uh, regarding the pandemic. That is fascinating. Um, I, I want to ask you also about the messaging going forward. John Roberts just reported, Sarah, that we could see a few more days of this, maybe not atop the headlines, but the book hasn't come out yet from Bob Woodward. That's next week. And then you'll see the follow up, so on and so forth. What message do you think should be coming from the, the White House and the president right now? Well, I think they should keep their focus where it needs to be. It needs to be uh, exactly what the president said, law and order. We have to talk about making our communities safe. We have to talk about moving our country forward. He needs to keep our focus on safety, security, and prosperity, because at the end of the day, that's what the people care about. Uh, they want to know that they can walk down the street and not be attacked. They want to know that they can go in and out of a business. They want to know that they can drop their kids off and they're going to get a good education and that they'll have a job to go to once they drop them off. That's what the American people care about. That's what the president should be focused on. He has a great record of almost four years of accomplishments. He should be talking about the substance of what he's done in those four years and what he'll continue to do once reelected in November. Sarah Sanders, her new book is out. Pick it up. Always great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Harris. Always great to be with you as well.